Do you guys know what these are? These are diamond testers. And the question today is, will Moise and I pass diamond testers? I'm gonna get right into it for you. So the way I had set it up here is from left to right, okay, and the reason why I did it this way is because I'm going from, uh, in terms of price points, uh, from a, a least expensive brand, okay, uh, to a mediocre brand, to a more of a premium brand. So in the jewelry business, there are different types of brands, obviously in any business there are different types of brands for equipment that you may want to use, uh, but for in the jewelry business, um, you know, there are uh, certain brands that we uh, also use as well, okay. Uh, so uh, with that being said, I do want to also let you know that that you know these different brands obviously they have much more sophisticated equipment as well uh, but in terms of everyday use for a jeweler for a quick glance to, to test something out right away uh, these are the handheld devices that we use just to ensure that uh, you know something is a diamond uh, versus a cubic zirconia versus you know etc etc for different types of gemstones but for this episode specifically it's about a diamond tester okay uh, so let me go ahead and um, go over this brand first this one is made by a company called I actually don't know how to pronounce that it looks like uh, Colt J okay uh, and basically this is uh, the, it's called the diamond tester uh, selector two okay uh, this is something that you could easily buy offline a uh, matter of fact you could probably buy any of these offline and uh, this thing uh, probably cost us uh, anywhere between um, I think I believe I, we purchased for about 20 bucks uh, online okay uh, this is um, a very inexpensive it's something you could use um, I, I wouldn't say that the accuracy is all there but um, you know it's it's good enough okay um, now, uh, this specific brand is called Gem Oro. They're very, uh, they're very popular in the uh, jewelry industry. Okay, so if you're a jewelry retailer, uh, most likely you know of this brand. They make a lot of different types of equipment other than just diamond testers. But uh, for this specific one, we are using the Pro D tester number two. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and turn that on as well. Uh, so the 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 brand that most jewelers um, should know about is called Presidium, okay? Uh, this is the multi-tester number three. This is uh, uh, pretty much uh, one of the most updated uh, testers uh, for the specific brand, okay? Uh, and uh, basically, as you can see here, uh, it will test from metals to simulants to moissanite as well as diamond. All right, uh, so this specific brand, uh, again, is called Presidium. All right, and we're using all three. So this one's about $20. $20. This one costs us a little over $100, and this one costs us a little over $200. So again, this is coming from different price points. It does not necessarily mean that one is better than the other. Uh, all that basically means is one have certain features that others don't, such as this one is broken out into many different features as opposed to this uh, specific brand here. And this brand here will only test, will only beep if it goes from uh, uh, basically nothing to a diamond all right um, so so my next point is how do these uh, different uh, uh, diamond testers how does it test uh, you know from one stone to a diamond basically the uh, the one main characteristic of a natural diamond or a diamond even if it's a lab created diamond is that it's a, a huge thermal conductor in other words it conducts uh, heat uh, very well okay uh, so uh, so that so these diamond testers what it's doing is it's testing okay uh, if this specific stone can conduct heat at a high level okay so uh, if it can conduct heat uh, at, at a, the, the level of a diamond and then it will beep or in other words the bar okay uh, the bar will go all the way up to the diamond it'll start beeping okay if it conducts uh, heat to the level of a diamond all right uh, same with this one as well and if it doesn't uh, then it'll, it'll uh, basically indicate that it's a metal a simulant a moissanite or a diamond all right so that's basically how this equipment works so uh, it doesn't test the hardness it does not test the uh, the Mohs uh, scale it doesn't test the optical properties what it tests is the heat um, the, the way a stone conducts heat okay uh, so that's pretty much how that works um, so uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and take out uh, a few diamonds as well as a few moissanite to go ahead and get this uh, process started. Alright guys, so I'm going to take out two diamonds actually, okay, so to prove to you these are diamonds, I'll take out the GIA certificates here, okay, so this is GIA, and uh, these are the specs, similar to what I've done in the past, alright, so I'll take out uh, the stone, this is the specific stone here, alright, okay. 
So that's the diamond there. All right. This is basically a round, uh, about a 7.8 to 0.9 millimeter. Okay. Nine. It is a 1.9 carat. All right. Now, the next diamond that I'll be taking out is also GIA. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, here are the specs of the stone. This one is a cushion modified brilliant as opposed to the round. All right. Uh, and this one is a slightly elongated stone. It's about a six by five and a half millimeter. Okay. So it's, it's, it's almost squarish, but not exactly. So let me go ahead and take that out. Uh, so just for your reference, it'll be easier this way. The diamonds will be on your right side and then the Moise and I will put on the left side, all right? So uh, for the sake of comparisons and making sure that uh, this is as close to an apples to apples comparison, uh, the closest Moise and I, uh, size that we have is a fab Moise and I that we'll be taking out is uh, an approximately an eight millimeter. That one's about a 7.8 to 0.9 millimeter, okay? So I'll take this out here. There we are. All right, and then uh, this one is also a fab moissanite, a cushion, uh, but it's more of a, a even-sided stone, so it's about a six millimeter, a six by six, as opposed to this diamond, which is about a six uh, by a five, five and a half. Okay, so uh, this is as close as it gets compared to uh, the diamond that you see on your right there. Uh, this is the moissanite on the left. All right, so there you go, diamonds. Moise night. All right, so I'll be taking out the diamond testers now to test it. All right, so uh, if you guys ever want to purchase one of these, just to uh, make sure that um, your jewelry at home tests as diamond, as Moise night, or whatever, um, you know, make sure that you calibrate it first. So for this equipment to properly work, you do have to turn it on and leave it on for a couple of minutes uh, to make sure that it calibrates accordingly before you go ahead and test it. Okay, uh, so here. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and test the diamonds first. Uh, this is again the Diamond Selector 2 uh, that we purchased online for approximately about 20 bucks or so. All right. Um, and guys, for these things, do not press it down too hard because you see this little metal tip there. Uh, you could actually, um, you know, it's it's not as hard as you think it is, and you could actually uh, actually break it. And if you break it, you pretty much uh, uh, this, this, this whole thing will no longer be of use. So uh, that is the thermal conductor or it tests as a thermal con uh, conductor uh, or, or how well a gemstone conducts energy uh, or heat rather, okay? Um, so that one tests as a diamond, right? And I'm going to test this one. There you go, diamond, right? So that's diamond on the right and here's moissanite on the left, all right? There you go. So the moissanite or the eight millimeter fab moissanite on your left also tests as a diamond. Let me go ahead and try this one as well, which is a cushion cut. Okay. See, it tests as diamond again. So again, what this tests is a is the ability of a gemstone to conduct energy or heat, okay? So diamonds are known to conduct heat at a very high level. And what, and basically what it's claiming here as well is that moissanite will also conduct heat at a very high level as well. And this is very useful for jewelers that need to set gemstones on on metal or rings and, and pendants because uh, sometimes when you work with jewelry, you do have to turn um, the heat on uh, in order to make jewelry. So these gemstones do have to be able to, um, to be able to take that heat. Uh, otherwise, you know, a lot of times um, I'll just either melt away or basically um, basically evaporate, if you will. All right, so um, here, the next one that I'll be taking out Okay, so this is the uh, the Gem Oro, the Pro D Tester number two. As I had mentioned earlier, this one uh, costs us a little over a hundred U.S. dollars. Okay, and uh, again, it may be more, maybe less. I don't know. We purchase things uh, with uh, within the jewelry industry, so we get things at wholesale. But um, for retail, it might be a little more. Uh, but uh, if they do sell retail, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, with that being said, what these diamond testers test again, I just want to emphasize is the thermal conductivity of these gemstones, okay? Uh, diamonds as, as well as moissanite both uh, uh, can conduct energy or heat at a very high level. So, uh, so if it does, then it should pass as a diamond. Now, 
again on your right hand side are the diamonds. There you go. There's a diamond, it tests as a diamond. Okay. There you go, test as a diamond. Moissanite is on your left hand side. Also test as a diamond. And also test as a diamond. All right. So the third piece of equipment is called the Presidium, okay? So it's a multi-tester number three. Uh, this is actually one of the more premium brands in the jewelry business, okay? So uh, a lot of jewelry businesses uh, that's, uh, you know, uh, obviously been doing it for a while, they should have this in their stores, okay? Or should be using one of these, um, because since it's a, a somewhat of a higher end piece of equipment, uh, it should test the metal, the simulants, the moissanite, as well as the diamond, okay? So, uh, but I do wanna let you know that e although they calibrate it to test uh, the uh, thermal conductivity of all these uh, different types of metal, semblance, moissanite, and diamond. Uh, it's, in any equipment, there's no 100% accuracy, and I'll kind of show it to you what I mean, okay? So again, on your right-hand side, these are the natural diamonds that were graded by GIA. Okay, so that tests the diamond, it works, right? This also tests this diamond, that also works, okay? So uh, on your left-hand side is the moissanite, so it should go to moissanite, okay? But what do you know? It goes to diamond as well, all right? And then the cushion cut, that moissanite, it should go to moissanite. but it jumps ahead to diamond as well. Uh, so all this basically means, guys, is that uh, the thermal conductivity of moissanite these days are very, very, very high. Um, it's very close to that of a diamond that even these uh, thermal conductivity uh, pieces of equipment uh, that are testing gemstones uh, are not recognizing as moissanite, recognizing it as diamonds, okay? Uh, again, a moissanite is a moissanite. Be able to separate the two uh, and be able to uh, figure out, you know, for yourself uh, what is a moissanite and what is a diamond. So, uh, what does this basically mean? Okay, so these types of um, handheld devices uh, were very useful in the 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s. Okay, uh, because what people were using it before was to basically distinguish the difference between a diamond and other similants. Okay, such as uh, cubic zirconias or uh, other types of crystals that people were making uh, to basically uh, have uh, similar optical properties of that of a diamond. So for a jeweler, it was safe to own one of these pieces of equipment to identify that, uh, you know, if they were, uh, and to also show their customers that they were selling diamonds as opposed to similants. Now, uh, with that being said, since moissanite's been around for the last 20 years, the R&D or research and development of moissanite is, um, you know, has definitely improved quite a bit, not only in the optical properties, as you can see here, and all everything else I've gone through in my other videos, but even in the thermal conductivity tests of these equipment, uh, it cannot recognize, or for a lot, a lot of times, it won't be able to recognize if it's a moissanite or a diamond. So, so there you go. So for anyone that had questions uh, about whether or not it will pass a diamond test, uh, here is uh, your answer to those questions. All right. Uh, so I hope that I was able to bring some value here uh, and be able to kind of answer any questions uh, about this as possible. But last uh, but not least, uh, again, I do want to make sure I always disclose there is a huge difference between a moissanite and a diamond. Okay. A moissanite, the way you distinguish it from a visual point of view is that it always should have more fire than that of a diamond because it's doubly refractive okay the, uh, in the re uh, refractive index okay a moissanite is much higher than that of a diamond so if you take a look at it it should have more colors uh, such as red blues greens yellows uh, than that of a natural diamond so from an optical standpoint uh, that's how you will be able to distinguish between uh, the diamond and a moissanite okay uh, and then at the same time 
All right, so if you were to ever purchase something and, and it was questionable uh, and you want to make sure that, okay, if you were to spend, you know, for example, $30,000, $40,000 on a diamond versus, you know, 300 bucks on a moissanite, you want to know for sure, then always send it to a lab. There are other much more sophisticated ways uh, that a laboratory such as GIA can test if it's a diamond or a moissanite so that you can have a peace of mind, okay? So that's the reason why a lot of people nowadays, if they're to purchase a diamond, they want to make sure it's certified from a reputable source okay and if it's not certified they'll send it in to make sure that hey you know they are getting a diamond as opposed to a moissanite uh, these things are just really good for uh, a quick glance uh, a quick QC or quality control type of test uh, but it should not be used to distinguish whether or not it is a moissanite a diamond or similant uh, this is just more for uh, a typical everyday use uh, just to um, do a quick a QC test but for sure if you want uh, to have a definite answer uh, then the laboratory is the way to go so it may cost you a little bit more money to pay uh, the lab uh, to test if it's a moissanite or a diamond to grade it if it's a moissanite or a diamond it may be a couple of hundred bucks to do so uh, but if you are if you do own for example a forty thousand dollar diamond it may be worth uh, the time and resources all right, guys, so I hope you guys really enjoyed what you saw there. Uh, you know, I hope uh, I was able to bring a lot of value to you. This is definitely a different take on what we normally do. Again, uh, you know, keep in mind that a moissanite is a moissanite, a diamond is a diamond. But uh, if you do have a very expensive diamond and you're worried, send it to a lab. That's probably the best way to figure out if it's a moissanite diamond or other type of gemstone, okay? Uh, and if you want to see if your moissanite test is a diamond, that's a great way to do it as well, okay? So with that being said, uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, uh, definitely support us. Our goal here is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, okay? Uh, so uh, thanks again. We appreciate you from the Fire and Brilliance team, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Hey guys, I might have ended a little too soon just a minute ago. I wanted to add an extra tip, okay? So if you are interested in sending diamonds to a lab, the one that I would recommend is a school that I went to is the Gemological Institute of America. That's where I want to study gemology. It's, the, it's one of the most reputable in the States here, in the United States, and definitely one of the most reputable across the world, okay? So if sending diamonds uh, and other natural gemstones, that's where I would recommend. If you want to send a, a moissanite into a lab to verify that it's a moissanite, that I, would, I recommend and setting it to PGGL, okay? Uh, so uh, with that being said, diamonds to GIA, uh, moissanite to PGGL, uh, so just in case you want to verify your gemstones and for your own peace of mind. All right, so with that being said, uh, thanks again.